you uh, who are friends on Facebook have already seen little sneak peeks of this knife. Um, this is my knife number two that I made. Um, this took me a lot of time. It probably has about 20 hours into this knife. Um, I've got some pictures of the process. I didn't actually videotape the process because, I mean, I really can't edit 20 hours of video. <laughs> Honestly, when I get better at this and it doesn't take me 20 hours um, to make a knife like this, then um, maybe I'll show the whole entire process. Um, it has an oak handle. Um, right about now, I will cycle through those pictures. In this picture, you can see um, the very beginnings of the knife. Um, I started with a half inch round um, steel bar, and you can see here that I started to fashion the blade section, and it slowly takes shape. And you can see um, when I started getting more into the design process, you know, I made some marks on there. So I did start shaping it into that form and it continues to progress until we get to this stage. At this stage I pretty much decided on the uh, the shape and then I started uh, sanding and polishing and then I heat treated the knife. Um, then after that I put the oak handle on and then I kind of traced out you know what I wanted to look like and then basically you end up with this I used brass um, a brass dowel um, to pin the handle in place. You can see um, the blade um, it goes the full length or the part that's inside the handle goes the full length and then one of the cool features that I'm really proud of is I don't know if you can see it or not but my finger grooves um, are not perpendicular to the side of the knife. They actually go at, a, they actually go at an angle which makes this knife perfect for a right-hander um, because my finger grooves are angled the same way the angle of your fingers for a right-handed person. You put this in a left-handed person's hand and it just really feels kind of awkward. And I know that if you were going to mass produce a knife, you would never do that. But this knife is for me. And so I made it for my hand specifically. And basically, the natural way I grab onto the knife is like that to get a good grip. And so I actually made um, the uh, finger grooves go at a diagonal. It has a mirror finish on it. And let me just give you an idea of how sharp this thing is. Pull it in half, make it a little bit thicker. A little tomato here. slice it right in half but overall it's really 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 sharp um, it cuts very very nicely I mean I don't even have to hold the tomato to cut it thanks a lot for watching um, I'll be making more knives in the future if you want to see those knives um, and how I make those knives, eventually I will get a video on the whole process. Go ahead and subscribe. 
And uh, of course, if you're a subscriber, you'll get a notification when the new videos are out. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for the support. Remember, survival is a state of mind. Uh -huh.